Scotsman, Glasgow born, Jim White. Were you born in Edinburgh, was it? Yeah, I'm posh jock. You're posh, but of course. My prefab was posher than your. Where were you? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm from Glasgow, of course. So I'm the West, you're the, you're the East, but we're both Scottish. And of course, we get round to Scotland. Who have made the finals of uh, Euros in Germany? In fact, they take on Germany, the host nation, in the opening game. But Scotland, as we stand, the last victory was away to Cyprus in September. We lost 3-1 to England, lost 2-0 to Spain, lost 4-1 to France, drew with Georgia 2-2, drew with Norway 3-3. Netherlands, the other night, 4-0 against Mm. Scotland. Graham, um, where is your mind at the moment? I mean, this is the warm-up stages, of course, but how do they square the circle of stepping up when they need to? Come well, the finals. They, well, they, they're the, the opposite to what England are. They don't have the same qualities. They could go with two only midfield players every time they play and try and nick games. Uh, and maybe a set piece or, you know, on a on a breakaway, a counter-attack. Um, Scotland can't take the best teams on in a game of football. They'll have to come up with a plan. And my point about England is, and we know we're talking Scotland, is they, they don't have to have a plan. Just going to outscore the teams you're playing against. Scotland are a nation that, is it less than five million people now? We for us to be there, I see that as a right result, and I felt that when I was a player as well. And for them to go there, um, the expectation level will be enormous, as it always is. You should forever be an optimist, but it's going to be difficult for them. But they, it's not impossible for them to go and win games one nil, two nil. You know, I think I'm right in saying that Scott McTominay is our top scorer in this qualification group. So. That tells you where our, where our strengths are. We, we, we're missing an out and out goal scorer, and that is the hardest thing to find anywhere. We don't have an outstanding one of them. And in the past, under Steve Clark, we've been very workmanlike, very well organised, and we've we've got by. But we're we're not going to turn up and bash teams up playing football that you know it's going to get on the edge of your seat. We're, we're oh, you can't wait to get started. No, I can. I'm fine. You're, you're a nasty piece of work, aren't you? No, I'm not. At you all. said you weren't going to be like that. I do, I do, and I don't feel the necessity. I'm about to defend the Scots, and the only reason I ever say anything about the Scots is because when I sit in the studios with Jim saying to me, "If you England, if England well. win a tournament, it'll be his worst day in his life," no, okay, so one has okay. to defend that. All right. But when you're looking at one your, when your most recent games, how can you draw any parallel between playing the the, the French away, the Spanish away, uh, the Dutch away? You know, these are top top, top teams. sides. So Thank when you. you get these results, so you play the Norwegians, you get a three-all draw. You play um, other sides that are in and around you, Georgia, and you get a two-all draw. So you yeah. go to this tournament in decent nick, and the opposition that you've played against will have taught you some lessons. You play the English, we're a better side than you. So when you look at the results right now, and you go, well, England, Scotland have had a bit of a... Christ, look at the opposition you've played against. Most teams would have gotten beat by those oppositions. Now, when you go to... No, don't be taken in by it. When you go to Germany and get your... No, it's coming. Metaphorically, pants pulled down. There you go. Then, then, then I'll be able to turn around and say, "Yes, enjoy the that, ride," because the journey is not going to take you very far. We have to have a plan. We yes, can't play. The Germans the, are rubbish. We can't play expensive football. They the Germans are rubbish. Fine. They won in France. Well, the Germans. Mbappe, the lot. The Germans are a poor Usman side. But they, I mean, I spoke to Michael Baddock last week, and he's talking about the Germans being a poor side and having and having no strength. Well, France of must be pretty poor because Kai Havertz get the same for the Germans. Fantastic. In a you know, win. one swallow doesn't make a summer. In recent times, the Germans have been a very poor side. Then you've got the Swiss and you've got the Hungarians. So the Swiss and the Hungarians are the games games. that you target and the Swiss are no great shakes and neither are the Hungarians so you can nick those games and maybe get out of your qualifying group but let's characterise it properly if you're going to Steve Clark has done a pretty bloody good job for Scotland and there were times post the Euros when few people were calling for his head Uh, you know obviously you were calling for a national holiday from a nil-nil draw against England Hmm. but other people were calling for his head directly after the tournament I think he's done a really good job this Scottish side embody a lot of the characteristics I'd like at times the English to, 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 to represent, which is a bit more backbone at times. Do you for one minute think he's been serious? I am. No, I think I think for once he's actually being, he's actually talking sense. <laughs> well, because it suits you. No, because you're actually talking sense for a change. How do we get a result against Germany, Graham? <laughs> when you played for Scotland with yourself, with Doug Leash, yeah, with, with players. Hansen, right, so here we Demo. go. Opening yeah. game John against Robertson. Germany. Yeah, John the place Ro- is now going John Robertson, there's a player. Now listen, and they had Alan Ruffin goal. You know what it's going to be like pre-match, the opening game against the hosts. I remember it in in France, the opening game against uh, yeah. Brazil in Paris, and the Scots just lost by two goals to one. What might happen here? Could we be in the wrong end of a thumping, or will well, Scotland come something. out of that? I don't and have think, a, I don't how have a did crystal we do ball. that? Do have a crystal ball? Anything is possible in football. I, I, the point I want to make is that Scotland, with the group of players they have, and there are some very good players. We have some players who are playing in big Premier League teams, 
No, which we've we've not had in recent history. Um, I think they can go there and do a job on people. Can they get I, out of the group? I think, yeah, I think they can go there and nick a draw in the first game and nick the other two games. But we have to come up with a plan. And if the direct comparison with England, England just got such good players. Do they really have to have a cautious plan playing against anyone? No, in my opinion. Scotland are a team with with a group of players that must and will have under this manager a plan for each of the three games. And they could nick results. So Germany, Switzerland, the Hungary, and you think instead anything of being thankful is, to be there, we anything, can actually get any, out of that group. Anything is possible in football, you know that. Did you see that 4-0 spanking coming on the weekend? No, as, you, as, you've, as you've pointed out, going to take that smirk off your face. <laughs> Just ask can, we, can, we arrange so a, can we arrange an end-of-season five-a-side please? No, oh, yeah. Oh, please. Yes, please. Oh, you zimmer for Remember him. what you did to that Romanian? Oh, yeah, is your yeah. next victim please <laughs> even with so, your white boots on you'll please. never I, know I it could was see coming him, I could see him with his socks his socks pulled over his knees and the shirt out question. his shorts yeah. fine the oh, headband fine. on the fine. Alice band we'll on yeah, so gloves, gloves an Alice band. and May time gloves last time I saw you on a battle tennis court you could barely get the ball over the net so let's have it right I'll find the energy and Graham I wasn't going to mention it but Neil Varnish that surprised me Do did you see that coming 4-0 to the Netherlands I think I think Holland are emerging I think they've got a good group of players. I think they've been an adult. That's another case in point. You know, normally you could name four or five great Dutch players. You can't do that right Did now. Did you see that coming but, for Scotland? I think they have the potential to do that. You know, no, not that to, Dutch. I'm talking about the Scots. The, the, no, Are you disappointed the Scot- with that result? Scot- yeah, I'm disappointed. No you? Wants you, you, you yeah. don't want your, your team to get beat 4-0. And, and maybe just met the Dutch on a bad night. But the Dutch have really? good players right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what do you take when you when you hear the players? Uh, I heard Andy Robertson afterwards. We were in it for a long period of time, and then they lose a goal just before half time, and you think, oh, they might get back in level terms. Far from it, four nil. Mm-hmm. That's the fear, isn't it? They concede one that might lead to a few more. For what? We've all been in games like that, you know. And you've been in games where you go one down, and you end up winning two, one, three on yourself. It's it's football and that's the nature of it and it'll never change. And that's what makes it so. Attractive. Is your head real in your heart here though, Graham? I mean, mine no, is. I, I hope I, they get out of the group. It's but... going to be super difficult for yeah, them. The yeah. first game, you could not pick up a, a more difficult opening game in a tournament. And if you're in a tournament and you lose You've your first game, if you're, I'll just talk to you then. Thanks, Graham. So if you're in a tournament, and you lose your first game, it puts you under lots of pressure. That means your next two games, are you're going to have to win one and yeah. maybe win two. To get out of the group, yeah. so you know, if you're a betting man, you'd bet on Germany to beat us. But we're capable of nicking a result, and and that should be the aim to get something from that first game. I, w- I wonder how many Scotland fans think that we're capable of getting out that group come the summer. Germany, Switzerland, and Hungary, or will Euro 2024 be another thankful just to be there type experience? You might want to let me know. Graham's with me, so too is uh, grinning Cheshire Cat. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.